Achievement unlocked once upon a time. And you didn't want to tell me what you were in the reason. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. Nothing down there. I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep it? Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? I thought we were on good terms. What happened? A shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Already tell you hey. to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Pete. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one hmm. little thing. Talk about living in the you past. Do you keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. I don't know what the electric bill is for that thing. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you. Only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. No you weren't living without. within your means. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out oh my God. of here. <laughs> uh, let me just... Uh... A day at the beach? Skiing afloat? <laughs> Are you and we get can't that? come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... 
the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, Hopes. when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh my god. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. Hey, he had a good game on the PlayStation 1. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money you don't have. Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there you can... Sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick man. <laughs> I see well, what they did there. I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from.
I mean, both of y'all, like, my opinion, y'all is kind of going down. But, I mean, you're being, like, really combative here, so we're going to the butcher. Crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, the money. Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No, of course not. I don't know how you get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. You mean they'll remember that? They're the the lock, there was a wolf. <laughs> Put out that cigarette, boy. We'll oblige. We support NYPD. Ah, oh, shit, I should not have obliged. Fuck the NYPD. <laughs> Genuinely fuck the NYPD. You only force more corrupt is the LAPD. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Nah. So then what's he delivering? Oh, I guess frozen meat. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? That's why you cook it, Bigby. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at the Tweedles. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular kind? Better stay away from that silent alarm, boy. Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin... Ribs, Johan. I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You'll find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing. Here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. We Silent Hill 2 up in here now? I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Look, can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? What's the problem? 
I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please, don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. Won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I, I don't know who or, or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Yeah, locked from the other side, huh? Meth lab? Or a glamour lab. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. Still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. 
turds in a way I saw on the shelf. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Yeah, that's blood. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? All these raw materials. Looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks on well. everybody. Pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this is bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these Oh to hide the chain marks. Real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. The ribbon what is to hide Craig? the marks. Yeah, what about Craig? If this all butcher finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What about you? Do you really think this is going to be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my hand. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. That didn't sound like you didn't sound like you believed yourself there, Bigby. Also, new book of fables. Also, new achievements. Just doing this so they'll stop showing up as new. Okay. Johan the Butcher. His name is often said in the same breath as that of the baker and candlestick maker of Fable Town. And like those other tradesmen, Johan the Butcher's storefront has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, lol, exotic meats, and even full sides of beef for the vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johan's business has fallen on hard times. Hard times, baby! And fallen in with the wrong crowd. As the quality of his products declined, and his business turned into a front operation for the Cricket Man, some have started to wonder if they really know Johan. I think he's a little punk. <coughs> Him.